Look at me starting late. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh, your mouth is full. Anyway, she's Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. Uh, I'm Chris, also a co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. If you're brand new to Keto Chow and aren't eating a whole bunch of tuna fish and cheese for dinner, um, Keto Chow is a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for daily updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on track. Thanks so much for joining us on our keto journey. Absolutely. Okay. And if you don't mind, I'll just finish my dinner while you All chat. Right. I'll, I'll say hi to people. Typically, we like to eat dinner way before now, <laughs> but I got it ready. And then we have some kids doing some serious homework. And they had an activity Because they're finishing today. up for end of year. So they were just nose to the grindstone on their homework today. Three of them. Were, yep. And I was not going to interrupt them working hard. So... I just waited till it was almost time to leave, and then I said, here, tuna fish and leave. Yep. So, so it looks like Sherry's here, Becca's <laughs> here, uh, Betsy's here as well. Sherry said just jumped on the creamy bandwagon. Yes. Um, so for any of you who don't know what's going on, Woot.com, which is actually owned by Amazon, mm -hmm. is selling refurbished five program, which is all we ever use, uh, Ninja Creamies for $100. If you search Woot Creamy, Creamy spelled with an I, you will find it. Anyway, uh, Becca says I really need to use my Creamy. Truth, truth to tell, I'm a little afraid of it. Oh man, well, we're going to make a video pretty soon. Well, okay. we actually made a video. Oh, we're you gonna, mean a, we're gonna make a, another more, one. a more production value this one? This is literally soda water with daily minerals, just so you know. Okay. Because people see. might ask. Um, Sherry says I'm going to try chocolate peanut butter first. Yeah, so Carrie is here. I think Dennis is here as well. Penn says, today I was adding Choc Zero white chocolate chips mm. to a raspberry keto chow creamy for the first time ever. I wanted a new keto chow flavor, white chocolate. Perfect. I experimented with white chocolate macadamia flavor and mm -hmm. it was weird. Anyway, uh, Penn says the creamy will get lots of use this summer. We've been using it all winter. We didn't yeah. care. Yeah, we love it. <laughs> Bring it on. Put a blanket on. Oh, it was like Betsy got a um, prescription for a CGM. Nice. Nice, Betsy. Uh, let's see. People talking back and forth. I cannot read the forth. comments. What's that? I can't read the comments. Oh, where's your glasses? By the Oculus. Why are your <laughs> glasses by the Oculus, Miriam? Because I missed the Oculus while we were on a cruise. <laughs> she said, I almost thought about asking if we could bring it. I'm like, oh, man, too much... Too much I stuff. I brought it. Anyway, uh, Emily's here, so is Stuong and Jen. Um, I already said hi to Penn. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Matreya is here. Gary says hello, Chris and Miriam. Dennis says, sound. It seems like it's working. Mm -hmm. Is it on? Yeah. Oh, Dennis says, myself. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Lynn says hi, everyone. Carla's here as well. Shauna says hi, Chris and Miriam. I'm having peanut butter keto chow. Hot cereal with some... Good, good black currant jam for dinner. Nice. Never even heard that before. That's weird. Sounds awesome. Deborah says, greeting from Sydney, New York. Hey, Deborah. I didn't Debra. know that was a thing. I want to go there. Well, this is good evening. I just had some steak and barbecue chicken for dinner. Going nice. to make some chocolate keto chow yes. for dessert. Ah, Kel in Michigan had tuna in an egg life wrap for nice. dinner. Nice. I just had tuna in nothing today. Uh, looks like Carrie had fish, ground meat, six eggs. One meal for the day. Man, that sounds like an awesome way to do it. Mm -hmm. Scott says, so you're saying a lot of Aruba and cheese. I love cheese, but tuna is kind of yuck for me. Will chicken mm. do the same? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Uh, Matreya says the school year is done here. We still have a week. Mm -hmm. So it all kind of just depends on what the local school district decides to do. We also had a week off in uh, the fall and a week off in the spring. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I've had a couple of snow days, so if they have, if we have snow days, a lot of times the school ends yep. a little bit later. Gina says, "Good evening, everyone. Thanks for the twenty-five dollars, Chris and Miriam. I need another bag of peanut butter. I don't think we've sent. That yes, we yet. haven't sent it. That was a question that was on the Facebook support yeah, group it, today. It's in the terms and conditions. It's in the terms and conditions. What's going to happen is, if you have a current My Chow uh, subscription that's active between this time and this time, which is on the on in the, the terms, terms and conditions." conditions or if you 
buy a essentials kit and you haven't ever bought one before, then we're going to give you a store credit. So the essentials kit, I think you get a $10 store credit yep. and my chow, you get a $25 store credit and we will go It'll ahead and just put in those into your account. I think it's on July 1st. It says it in the terms and conditions. But it says it in the terms and conditions. So if you have any questions, go ahead and read through that page yep. about the Memorial Day. Uh, was Purple Lady is on in Wisconsin, Hello. visiting this week for first grandson's fifth birthday. Yay. Actually moving here in two weeks, that's right. Oh my gosh, Gonna have to it's change so your name, you're no longer Purple Lady TX. Yeah, what are you gonna be next? Debra, 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 mm, Debra mm, mm, mm. says, I love keto chow, my creamy. Lynette's here. Hello. Lynette says, I just got a creamy, but haven't used it yet. I'm also scared. Oh, don't be. Super easy. So easy. You'll be like, wow, that was not hard. It was just loud. Yep. Scott says, cherry flavor would be awesome for the creamy. The problem mm. is, all of the cherry that we've tried mm -hmm. just tastes like cough syrup. But so, get, a, get a cherry uh, flavoring and try it out. Yes. Uh, like, like we have Da Vinci sugar free syrup mm -hmm. that's cherry flavored, and that actually works really well. Yeah, it does. Uh, well, Mrs., are the creamies still mm -hmm. loud? Absolutely. Super they, loud. They are so loud. We have one in the um, break room at work, and I turned it on, and then I went over to customer service and was chatting with one of the gals over there, and I'm like, wow, you can hear the creamy from here, and there were two walls in between yep. us. <laughs> Exposing Darkness is a, said, I made keto chop biscuits and gravy, but discovered I only had one savory chicken. That no! turned out okay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> GGB says, Miriam, your mint melt away's recommendation was on point. I made it with right? lily peppermint chips on yes. top. So good. Hubs didn't screw it up. <laughs> Yay! I'm telling you, that's such a delicious recipe. Oh, Scott says, tuna and cheese, not Aruba. <laughs> <laughs> Aruba, Jamaica. I totally heard that in my head. Cat Lady says, I had a chocolate peanut butter and creamy today. Brenda says, hi, Woody. Hi, everyone. Hi, Kim's Brenda. here as well. So is Julie. Hi, Kim. Um, hi, Julie. Esther says, the Woot Creamy is sold out. Is it? So the seven was sold oh, out. Oh, yeah, but, the, but five the five was, wasn't. Was but it still may be available sold out because we looked this morning. Yeah. Stoink had chocolate salted caramel creamy for dinner today. Radical Geek says chicken salad is great, except when the chicken is bad. Yeah, that's what I was going to have for dinner. Mm. And then the chicken was bad. So I threw it away and made tuna fish instead. But I had to make like 10 cans. Really? Wow. Okay. I I assume that you just put the rest on my plate. Yeah, that was the that yeah. was the end of it. Yeah, that was ten. Because I cans. left to take the kids, Sheesh. and there was the kids love tuna though, and it literally was that's all we had, was tuna fish for yep. dinner. So it did was you fine. use sour cream or did you use mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. Hey, you should have used sour cream with the ranch flavoring that we I got. I already from, uh, had it in my mind okay. what I was gonna do, and I didn't think about the sour cream. That would have been smart. Rick Quinn says hi, everyone. Welcome back. Exposing darkness says hey, yeah, Rick school Quinn. is still in session by me. Scott says yeah, thanks for the twenty five. I signed up for it. Yes. Oh, it looks like Julie has uh, school until the June eighth. Oh wow, that's probably the longest I've heard. Jackie says good evening, and Scott says hi, thank you for the military discount. You are Yay. welcome. Hey, thank you for your service. Cat Lady says, how about a raspberry keto chow? We do have raspberry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. It's kind of mild, chow. but you you know what you could do? Make raspberry cheesecake and throw a real raspberry in there. Or make vanilla. With some raspberry. Now that brings up one of the things we want to talk about tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, the question was asked, can you add frozen fruit, like strawberries yep. or blueberries to keto chow? Yes, you yes. totally can. The thing that you need to pay attention to is we have to kind of get over our old thinking of putting a whole cup or a handful <laughs> in because that's too much sugar. We're going it's away from sugar. sugar. One, maybe three, depending on how big they are. Yeah, like it's a real strawberry. You make a, a vanilla keto chow and put in three or four blueberries, That's you're good. enough. It's, and it changes the color too. So, yep. And that gives it enough flavor. So you don't have to put a ton in to yep. make it good. And if you want it to be cold and more like a shake, throw some ice cubes in there. Yeah. Two ice blueberries and, and, and five ice cubes and... You're golden. There you go. Mm -hmm. Scott says, that's too bad. I was thinking about Cherry Garcia ice cream. Yeah, again, know, it, just tastes, good, huh? it just tastes like cough syrup. I can't get past the yeah, cough we syrup. Haven't, yeah, we haven't figured out a good... Denise says, hey, hey, y'all. Long oh, time no see, Denise. Oh, hi, Denise. Didn't Denise win one of the, like, the 250 cruise yes, credits? I think she did. I thought she did. Anyway. Next Carrie says, year. you can't tune in the cheese. Nope, you can't. Deborah says, thank you for the gift. I signed up after I watched you and got my first samples with six Yay. packs in the shaker cup. I'm so happy. Awesome sauce. Gina made lazy engineer beef for dinner tonight. Nice. How are you feeling, Gina? I've been thinking about you. Uh, Gina says, chocolate peanut butter cream for dinner tonight. Missed that on the cruise. Yeah, 
I, I know. I actually I miss. I wonder Kilo if Chow somebody too. brought their creamy on the cruise. <laughs> That'd be way overkill. Heath is here. Says, "Hey yo, Heath. just finished dinner. Looked over at the table next to us and did not see the bears. That's when I realized we were no longer on the cruise ship." Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> I know, and I realized I was looking through my pictures. I made a post on Instagram just now. Uh -huh. I don't have any pictures with Heath and Shelly. I'm so sad. Really? What happened? Boy, I don't know. guess we're going to have to we see actually, you guys. We actually, Chris and I were the worst at taking con. pictures. Heath, Lynette are you going did. to KetoCon? Yeah. How could they not? They live right there. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Tornado TJ says instead of using tuna, which is high in mercury, it can be. Uh, try using some high quality canned mackerel in all of them. Oh, that sounds better, amazing. Kind of I would actually prefer salmon. I would prefer all of those things. Yeah, um, yeah I, I don't worry too much about the, uh, the mercury and stuff in tuna fish. I am past my reproductive age. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I'm not <laughs> going to have any more children, okay? <laughs> and he says, yes, Miriam, right next to you, 250. That's yeah. right. We were twinners. Uh, TJ says, All, whole mackerel also gives you a, a good hit of calcium and collagen. Sounds amazing to me. Uh, Carrie says, yeah, I have either sardines or mackerel or salmon. This week is sardines nice. and salmon. That's fantastic. Scott says, are you... Are you not sold out of the Essentials kit? I'm pretty sure so, it's not sold out. Uh, the, the Essentials, I believe we still have. It's the, it's the Elite, elite we're sold kit. Out of. We're actually mm -hmm. out of stock on a couple of the electrolytes mm -hmm. that go on that. Into that. Sadly. Yep. Um, so uh, someone else was asking about how much gelatin um, you should put into Keto Chow and how do you add it? Because they wanted to thicken it up a bit. Um, let's see, not as thick as pudding. So if you actually go on, well, There's I'll just Memorial Google offer right there. Keto Chow gelatin. gelatin. So you've got, um, Christy Davis showing how to do gelatin Which it was her idea Chow. in the first place to put mm -hmm. gelatin in, so she's brilliant. Here she is with unbloomed Keto Chow. I mean, gelatin. gelatin. And here's a video that Miriam and I did that just talks, it goes into extensive uh, details about why you might want to use gelatin and how much you would use. And so uh, that's actually, there's a link to that in the description of the video that you're watching right now. Yay! But I'll go ahead and drop that into the chat as well. Short answer, one teaspoon for thicker. Yeah, that makes it a little thicker. Two teaspoons for pudding. pudding three teaspoons for gelatin. Jello. Yep. Uh, Gina says, I'm doing better. Miriam, start new migraine meds on Thursday. Thanks for thinking of me. Oh, good. I hope they work. Uh, let's see. Bum, bum, bum. There's the link. So, uh, we also had someone... Um, ask if we had any recommendations on a glucose monitor. Okay. There's a lot of glucose monitors that are fairly inexpensive that you can get at like the regular grocery store. Yeah. So, okay. You could get a Keto Mojo that has yep. glucose and ketone measurements. And that's the one that I use. I love it. Okay. Um, now, the alternative is get like a BioCoach ketone meter and mm -hmm. then a separate glucose meter. Yep. Now, we were talking... Um, two weeks ago before we went on the cruise about, so I was having problems last time we were here because I needed the log file oh, right. to tell me why the stream deck wasn't working. Yes. And when I opened up the log file, which is just a, it's a, 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 a log of stuff that was happening. It told me right there, Hey, I can't find the scene under the, daily live streams Cause you category because I changed it to weekly live streams. Right. And it's very literal. So, so that day we were ta we were discussing if if we had a log file for ourselves, we could figure out what we were yes. doing wrong or what we needed to fix. And that doesn't mean you need it all the time. Just yes, sometimes you're just like, sometimes I need nice to diagnose to know, something. Like, can you just tell me what's wrong with me? Yeah. Which a glucose meter mm -hmm. can be very helpful for that. So one of the things that you can use a glucose meter for, um, we were on the cruise. Yep. And the they told us that they had made a low-carb dessert mm -hmm. 
but they didn't have the recipe and I ate the top off it but left the cakey part yeah cake part and then I asked Shauna I said hey did you have your glu continuous glucose monitor on and she said that she did but she had ate some other stuff as well but her glucose went really high mm -hmm. after that meal and I'm like oh I bet you that wasn't actually low carb they had gluten free and they had no sugar added yep but gluten free and no sugar added does Doesn't not mean, mean low I carb can eat it. yeah and or ketogenic and so Sometimes it is very handy to have a diagnostic tool mm -hmm. at your disposal to check stuff. Okay, so we're back to what one would we recommend. So if, if the Keto Mojo isn't what you're looking for, um, you can literally just go down to Walmart or Walgreens yep. or, and you can just buy off the shelf a glucose meter. Yep. And they'll cost like maybe $15, and the strips are really inexpensive. Um, you don't need insurance, you don't need a, uh, uh, a prescription or any of that. And one really cool thing is the super, super cheap ones. I think there's one by uh, Walmart called Rely On. Mm -hmm. The Keto Mojo, if you get a glucose reading over, I think it's 300, it just says, whoa, or maybe it's 400 or 500. It oh. just says, nah, I'm out not... Out of range. Out of range. But that rely on one mm -hmm. doesn't have an out of range. It'll go up so to like So it'll tell you 600? And so what you can do is you can use it to check diet soda. Oh. So I did a video so a couple your years soda ago. you into the thing and then put it in the... Yeah. I, told, I actually did <laughs> a video funny. because... There's a couple ways that you can check to see if soda is actually diet or not. Because, okay, sugar, sucrose, is mm -hmm. just glucose and fructose hooked together. A one-to-one -one ratio. And if high fructose corn syrup is 55% fructose. Mm -hmm. It's essentially the same thing. Yeah. Effe yeah, effectively the same. So a glucose meter will absolutely light up if you put it into soda. Yes. And so there's the pea strips, the urinalysis ones, which you can actually cut in half lengthwise. And so it's just half as wide. And you dip those in your soda and if they come out and they turn brown, you're like, oh, that was not diet soda. But you can also, the cheap glucose meters, stick it in there, you know, put it into the soda. Cool. And it will totally tell you. So I actually really like those cheap ones and they're very easy to get new strips. Yeah. And that's if you just need a glucose meter. You know what else is good? What's that? Drinking water. <laughs> if in doubt. Have well, water. Yeah, on the cruise we drank an awful lot of water. <laughs> it was not enough, though. I was so thirsty. Okay, let's see. Uh, so Jujube says, Shauna told me to add gelatin to... Add gelatin. The kids put a tablespoon in my oh a tablespoon in my keto chai this weekend. Wow! Kids then decided to put uh, in the fridge, and I fell asleep two hours later. The screaming, "We made Jello!" Yeah, that would do it. And it's good. Coffee Jello. <laughs> That's it's satisfying awesome. when you get to to uh, just take the, bites the, the out of it. The one problem is now you've got a blender ball encased yeah. in Jello. So Holly was really nice, and she made me a lime pina colada mix into Jello one day, and. It just hit the spot. That's awesome. And it took a long time to eat, and so I was having a moment with my food, and I felt like I'd eaten. That's the other thing that's that's hard. Sometimes, you know, a lot of people say, don't drink your calories. Yeah. And we totally understand now, that. Now, a lot of times what they're referring to is making bulletproof coffee. Yes, but making, they also refer yeah. to meal replacement shakes. Because sometimes you'll drink it, and then you won't think that you've eaten. So... Interestingly enough, Dr. Boz, I, I didn't want to derail you, but okay. at, on the cruise, when people are having issues and they're, she's trying to get them into an eating window, she actually says, don't chew gum outside yes. of your eating window because it stimulates some of the stuff. And Nurse Cindy said that too. Oh, did she? Because she was talking about the whole digestive tract and she said, when you chew gum, the masticating process causes your body to say food is going to be coming in so start churning yeah. all of these juices down here to collect things okay so we, we, anyway didn't want to derail you 
Can you I were remember? talking about. Um, uh, they said don't drink your calories, talking, right? Yeah, yeah. So one thing that I think is the problem is we're not mentally realizing we're eating. It's like when you do something while you're eating, you don't really feel like you're. That's one of the eating. reasons why I love making keto chow with a ninja creamy. Yeah, because then you sit there and eat it, and it takes. But a also long making time. it into Jello or, or pudding. pudding. Yeah, but I think that. Even more than that is taking that moment away from your computer, away from your TV, away from your phone, to have a moment with your food, have a mental break, and then eat the food. And so if you're gonna and if you're gonna drink it, I love to heat it up in a mug and have a little stirring straw oh, and, slow down and, and have a little moment with my food because then we're then I can ha I can <laughs> I can feel like I have eaten, I've had my time with my food so that I don't have to be like munching in a few minutes okay. or like, oh my gosh, I didn't eat. And then I eat too much, you know? So that's something. Um, Julie is mm -hmm. here, says, hey y'all. Hi Julie. Uh, let's see, yeah, GGB <laughs> says Sean was great. I laughed so hard at her. We made coffee jello. Mm -hmm. uh, J-Dog just registered for the Low Carb Cruise 2023. Yes. Um, I think we'll probably go. Shauna says, yeah, that was not low-carb cheesecake. Yeah, I, I, mm. I have, mm -hmm. that seems to, yeah, I, she says, I think it was gluten-free, but pretty sure that it was something else. Yeah. Um, I had berries and cottage cheese for dessert, and it was delicious. Yep. I had a lot of, uh, a lot of. Cheese plate. Cheese plate and, whatchamacallit, uh, meat. And that was good. Yep. I also had a lot on the cruise smoked salmon. Uh, Wellman says, I thought I invented the cutting in half of ketone strip trick. Way to go, Chris. I actually first saw it on Reddit. You probably did. Yeah, you might have. Tornado says, I were hoping to go on the cruise. My wife has already been in touch with the agent. Yay. Nice. Stephanie says, I need keto chow to make Wendy's keto chow ice cream. Yes, you do. Yes, that you do. That would be amazing. Wendy's recipes are awesome, so I'm glad. Jerry says, I drank gallons of the Dasani sparkling water from the Coke Freestyle machines. Made the soda package worthwhile since club soda sparkling water was not free. Yeah, I I kept seeing people with their little tiny San Pellegrino bottles, and I'm like, I Those were not free those. either. And I never had yeah. one, but I wanted it. Yep. GGB says, I need to eat with all my post-surgery meds, not, mm. not so not wanting breakfast, but needing to eat something. Hot coffee with keto chow is a great option. Nice, yes. Tornado says, we got our monthly surprise pack, and it came with a recipe for Sloppy Joe's. We're yes. going to make just the meat filling and put it on our own bread or something. That sounds or amazing. Or just eat it. Yeah. Eat it with a spoon. Just eat it. That's like how we make um, taco I, Like guts. my tuna fish. I just eat it with a fork. Mike says, cherry skinny syrup makes ice cream take like marshino cherries. Oh, perfect. By the way, hello, Mike. Hello. Long time no see. Fad says, I'm one of those people where drinking a shake doesn't register as food, but the shakes as ice cream are fantastic. Yes. Gina says, I make my keto chow with two teaspoons of beef gelatin every time. Mm -hmm. Add crushed ice, eat with a long spoon. I always have that moment. And, and stick out your pinky as you're eating it. Mm. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Kathy says, hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, Tornado says cheesecake is one of the easiest desserts to modify to be low carb. Yeah. Did you say Kathy or Car no, I said tornado. Carol? It was Carol's birthday. Was it? Yeah, but I don't see her here. Huh. He says, yeah, the Brillo pad cheesecake. That bottom section was awful. Yeah, I was, I I was just like, no, nah, I'm just going to. You know who was sitting with us at our table? Autumn and Richard. We had That's so true. much fun. We did indeed. It was awesome. Uh, Carrie's talking about he got a whole bunch of eggs. Nice. With sardines and ground meat. That sounds amazing. That's fantastic. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I ordered Fred Hahn's book today. Which one? The Slow Burn book. The one that I found on eBay for $4? That you already purchased? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I purchased it for 20 bucks on Amazon. Okay. <laughs> well, now we'll have two of them. <laughs> Because okay. I want to do it. It's a, okay. it's a workout that's like Ben Bikikio's or Bichigi. Is it the one name? that has the the stuff by, um, what's his name? The protein power guy. Um, the doctor, what's his name? Anyway, we'll, we'll offline it. 
Carrie's talking about the natural flavorings in Kroger's unsalted butter is proprietary. Oh, yeah. Well, that's probably all natural flavors. <laughs> Jimmy says, Psh, I was cutting pregnancy test strips in the half 15 years ago, long before a keto show. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about that. Nope. Mm -hmm. Mike says, yeah, uh, i talk to you later. I need to go to the store now. Oh, hopping. By the way, next, no, tomorrow, mm -hmm. Lucky's has uh, ribeyes. For six dollars a pound. Nice. Denise says, "What about the folks that went down the Sorrentos to eat pizza? Pizza guts, that is. I didn't. Uh, I didn't do it, but heard about it. Yeah, we we did that. We only did it once. Last mm -hmm. cruise, we did it like every night. Yeah. Well, you know what? The the other boat that we so were much. at, I it don't want to eat either. Had, had a, a better, had a better yeah. place to sit and gather, and the pizza place had tiny tables. And it just wasn't conducive for a lot of people to just sit yep. and gather, so we we didn't end up. John says there. myself, Blue Duff, Heath, and the warden had a stack of fifty six pizza bones. Nice. Uh, GGB says I'm out, about to order some Kyocho electrolyte pills. So much inflammation, still drinking water like it's my job. Not feeling mm. real light and element. Oh, not sure what no. else. Uh, that may work yeah, really try well. It. Try it. Oh, Lisa says I just ordered the same book on eBay. Yay! Ah! <laughs> that is really funny. Yeah, so we are going to do his program. It's called Slow Burn, and it's like two to three days a week. Um, and you work out to fatigue is what it is. So you work your muscles, and you do it very slowly until you can't lift anymore. And then you're done for and then until your next workout so it's it's a lot less workout time was it this one yeah that's the one i bought i totally bought it seriously on ebay for I was, four bucks i was messaging him today uh, because <laughs> I, I wanted to see if he wanted me to send him anything so well maybe we can send that to somebody and uh yeah yeah anyway <laughs> that's really it's really fine. funny but we're gonna try it okay we had a question someone wanted to know have we ever considered making keto chow with less vitamin D okay. or vitamin A or magnesium or sodium? Or salt, yeah. We've um, had that question before yep. with different things. And the reason why we're not going to do that is because we've, we've kind of narrowed it down to what we feel like is best for each person Generally, like we use yep. the Nordic um, Nordic nutrition nutrition guidelines. guide, which is better than the <laughs> USA nutrition guide, <laughs> and and we just put in the the best uh, ingredients we can find the the best absorbable most absorbable ingredients. Yeah, the best versions of the yep. different and nutrition we we do understand nutrients. that not everybody can have all of those things, and so if it's something that you can't have then keto chow may not be for you. Um, Which is unfortunate. I, I completely understand. Yeah, and it really comes down to we can, there, it's impossible to make a product that works for everyone. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, we try to make it work for mo most people and to give most people the right nutrients and the amount of nutrients that will be best for optimal human health. Yep. And the reason why I say that is the U.S. dietary guidelines, or the, at least the recommendation for, say, vitamin D or niacin and things like that, they, they're actually quoting you the, the amount required to prevent yep. disease. Not for optimal health, yep. but to prevent disease. And the recommendation for vitamin D in particular um, seems like it was actually off by a decimal point according to now current um, research. And that's why there's, there's actually 100% of the U.S. recommended daily allowance or intake of vitamin D in every serving of keto chow. Mm -hmm. So if you can't have the vitamin D, and it's vitamin D3, by the way, mm -hmm. um, then again, like Miriam said, it's, it's entirely possible keto chow just isn't for you. And that's okay. That is okay. We do still have some great electrolytes. We can still be friends. <laughs> it's true. So, yeah, we, we can't make everything for everybody. And there mm -hmm. is, we do have the base powder, which kind of gets a lot of esoteric edge cases, but they're still the same vitamin D yeah. and other vin minerals and vitamins. Yeah, minerals and vitamins. <laughs> um, in the base powder. For those of you who don't know, the base powder is all the stuff that's in Keto Chow 
that makes it com nutritionally complete, mm -hmm. except the protein with the flavor and the sweetener. Yep. So you add a protein flavoring sweetener, which is probably in, in a, a protein powder, mm -hmm. and it m makes it into the nutritionally complete keto chow. So there you go. All right. Let's see. Uh, Gina says, brilliant minds, you too. <laughs> Gina says, I've never heard of Fred Hahn until the crews. Loved his talk. I thought his talk was I thought was his talk really, was really good too. Really cool. And you know, it's funny. I didn't know his name, but I have seen him before at different conferences. So I just, you know, finally figured out who he is. <laughs> yeah. And for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, like Miriam said, the basic concept is you are, instead of doing a lot of reps, you're just doing a couple of reps, but you're doing it with, you're, you're doing it to exhaustion and you're doing it and you're very doing it really slow. slowly. So you're focusing on form for one, which is always better, I think. Um, and then you're just doing it slow until you can't do it any longer. Yep. And he said something about, uh, what about if you, the next time you do it, you do one pound more? Yeah. You just keep on doing that. You'll you'll end up with like a hundred pounds extra by the end of the yeah. of the year, oh, and it's cool. like even that isn't you, you're never going to hit that high. But it's really interesting stuff. Sean is curious about trying it with um, uh, elastic bands. Oh yeah. Sean says, exciting. "Of course, I need my post cruise dizzies to go away. Mine has finally yeah. started going away. I haven't felt dizzy at all, but I said, like I said, I have my patch on. Kate took her patch off today, and she said she started feeling sick, so she put another oh, really? one." So she's going to try to counteract it for a couple more days. Wellman has a Stuffler what? waffle machine. What? Do you have it? Uh, with good Do you results. Love it? Um, you heat it for about 10 minutes, then put chaffle batter for about 8 to 10 minutes. So you get a crispy waffle using tomato base or keto chaff for the mix. Nice. Uh, GGB says, I'm missing something. You do not have the electrolyte capsules anymore. I'm only seeing the drops. Let's we check it out. We do have the capsules. So I'm going to go to shop. I'm going to go to supplements. Look how cute that website is. Do, 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 do. Whoop. Why, where are they? Good I question. think they're probably in the electrolytes. They're probably hiding. Shh, hiding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There it is. It's in the electrolyte drops. Under the tablets. I think that we need to have it broken out into its own thing. Hey, thank you for the feedback on that. Yes. So now you know where they are, and we can put them in a different spot. Yep. Yeah, because that would be super confusing. Um, rightfully so. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. People talking about the electrolyte tablets. Yeah, Lynette told her where it is. Yeah, it's under electrolyte drops, which doesn't make mm -hmm, any sense to me. Mm -hmm, Sean, i put a patch back on as well. Yep. Uh, he says, I am not a smoker, so I did not wear a patch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jerry says, how is the grape and peanut butter battle going? Um, mm. the peanut butter is selling a lot it's more. It's probably winning. Yeah. Way, Only way more. Only because grape is gross. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I mean, it's dead on. It tastes like grape. Yep. I just don't like grape. Well, this says, I love my stuffler. Works great once you get the recipe dialed in. Also made a strawberry keto chow one with strawberry oh, nice. jam in the middle. Oh, that sounds amazing. <gasps> you know what you have to make? Oh my gosh, you have to make this. Make a Danish. Make a Danish? Cream cheese Danish. Okay. I challenge you <laughs> to make it. Does that sound amazing? Carrie <laughs> says, gross is a number, Miriam. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, also it's grape. Uh, Lance says, I love, love, love the grape. Gina says, I made a peanut butter, but didn't like, I, I love the peanut butter, but didn't like the grape. Let us sit there for three more days. Mm -hmm. So, now here's a, here's a question. Okay. Is keto chow clean keto? Well, I don't love clean and dirty keto. The term I clean get, keto and I dirty keto? I get what keto? they're meaning, like purist or non-purist. It, what matters is what you choose to put in your mouth. And it doesn't matter if you break somebody's rules because you're doing what, what you feel is right for you, okay. right? If you're allergic to peanuts, would clean keto include peanuts? No. What if you're allergic to nightshades? Would clean keto include tomatoes or jalapenos? Nope. And it, it, 
I, dairy or anything. Yeah. Like, and I, I understand where people are going for. They're thinking yes. like the, the, the sweetener. Of course, our sweetener would probably be considered well, dirty because not thing. everybody loves it. Any sweetener rightfully mm -hmm. would be less productive on a keto diet. Mm -hmm. How about that? Though, if you're really serious about wanting to get optimal results. Yeah, you'd probably on, have no sweeteners at you all. You probably want to do mostly carnivore with beef, butter, bacon, eggs, mm -hmm. pork, all of that sort of stuff. Cheese. Um, Some jalapeno poppers. A lot of times while. people will use the term clean keto or dirty keto as a bit of gatekeeping. Yeah. And it's a bit of my so choices are superior to yours and you we should... We don't like to have that feeling. It's true. Yucky. Oh, you know what I just realized? What? Oh my gosh. I wonder. Uh, yes. I can't believe this. The bit let rate me, is low? You let, me, let me turn up the bit rate. Okay. Well, anyway, so clean keto. It's probably dirty super blurry. Keto. Here's one thing that you can think of for keto chow. Okay. We have sucralose. People may or may not like that, right? Yeah. We have animal based product in our keto chow. Some people may not like that. Some people may like that. We have artificially made product in our product. We have artificially um, methylated folic acid. Yes. Folate um, that is exactly what you uh, humans need. And it's methylated. Doesn't occur naturally. Yep. Well, your body makes it, mm -hmm. but yeah, it doesn't occur but naturally. But some people's bodies don't make it. So we thought, well, we have to put that in there anyway. We might as well put the cool kind in there. So here yeah. you go. Boop. I can't, I, I can't increase the resolution. Oh, because it's already started? It's already started. So we're, it's, we're it's going out at 480p, which is matter. fine. It doesn't matter. It's because we were still, I still had all the settings set for when we were on the cruise. Whoopsie. And it was uh, constrained to 700 kilobits So that's why it's blurry second. and it's not just my eyes? Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> that is your eyes. But for people watching, <laughs> oh, they're probably like, huh, it's probably... Why do you guys look all blurry? Yeah. Fine. Anyway, so, yeah, as far as clean keto goes, mm -hmm. if it has a sweetener in it, probably wouldn't be considered clean keto by some people. If it has dairy clean in it... Clean keto would be not a shake in the first place. Yep. So, I, and again, a lot of people said, hey, you know, clean keto is what works for you. Yep, and that's fine. And that would probably be the we best way be to, uh, to describe it. Um, Rick Wentz says, loving it on keto. Already made peanut butter cream cheese. Danish, oh, Miriam. Oh, no. She loved it so much. She says they can't have it in the house unless it's in the freezer. <sighs> I have to have that. <laughs> uh, Cass says the best keto is the one that works for you. Tornado says, so many, so many of the keto chest stuff gets better after it sits. You're right. Uh, Tornado says, a glass of wine won't throw you out of ketosis mm -hmm. as long as it's zero residual or added sugar. So is that keto? keto? That's the question. But that's a decision you have to decide if you're going to have in yep. your body. And that is your decision to make. No one needs to tell you you can or can't have that. Air you Fry and Auntie things, says, I like Air Fry and Auntie Keto. No labels. No labels. <laughs> Uh, Rosa says, I'm having great float right now. Keto chow grape plus grapes, Zevia. <gasps> wow. Yay! Except for the grape part. I don't like grape. Shauna ordered a, mm -hmm. uh, a used copy of the Fitness Revolution book as well. That's funny. Brino says, so here's a question. Does your sucralose have maltodextrin in it? That's a great a very question. Very good question. No, it doesn't. So it is pure sucralose. So we, we've... We've covered this a lot, and mm -hmm. I am happy to cover it again because mm -hmm. it is a big concern for a lot of people. Yep. When you see Splenda, um, a lot of times your experience with that is the packets that are there by the coffee and whatever, mm -hmm. and that is like 99.8% maltodextrin. And then it's a little teeny bit of sucralose. And sucralose is you take a sucrose, which mm -hmm. is fructose and glucose, and you add Chlorine, the same chlorine that's in sodium chloride, mm -hmm. also known as table salt. Yes. And doing that makes it like 600 times sweeter. Yes. And makes it so that you don't digest it. Um, 
but you are also using 600 times less of it. Mm -hmm. So even if the amount of sucralose that we used in keto chow did have maltodextrin in it, or if, let's just say it was pure glucose, we're using 0 0.08 grams. Mm -hmm. Per serving. Per serving. 0 0.08 grams of pure sugar would have no effect on pretty much everybody, including most type 1 diabetics. It would not register as a change on a glucose meter. So... But it's not sugar. But it's not sugar. It doesn't have maltodextrin. And, and another reason why we wouldn't ever do that is there are a lot of studies that indicate that people have negative results if they ingest artificial sweeteners along with maltodextrin, which is interesting because that is what Splenda, mm -hmm. the stuff is. that yeah. measures what, like sugar, is. It's maltodextrin with the artificial sweetener. We don't use that. So there you go. Very good question, Tornado TJ. Thanks for asking that. Jedi says, no keto police. I don't like the keen, clean, dirty keto monikers either. Too much of an us versus them mentality. Yeah. I choose love and know mm. we're all on different paths. Yep. <laughs> and there are times when we're going to eat as healthy as we can in the moment. And we know that McDonald's sausage that we eat is not as good as the one we can buy at the store. And we're okay with that because yep. we need to eat something when we're traveling or whatever it is. Tornado says, I love that Steve over on Serious Keto is putting the stop to the pure keto haters. He is very pragmatic. Yeah, that's his word. He's very pragmatic. And the thing about a ketogenic diet... <laughs> A ketogenic is diet ketones. is any way of eating that allows your body to produce ketones. It is mm -hmm. kind of unique in the whole world of nutrition and diets and all that other stuff mm -hmm. that it is literally measurable with a biomarker. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that, right? Yep. Like, I know we all know that, but it's so cool. It is. John says, everyone feels blurry to me too, Miriam. Glasses or not. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pam says, it's yummy, but it's yummy keto. There you go. Um, Debbie says, got to go. Want to stop in for a bit, but having, but having, but but have planning to do for the move stuff. We'll catch you later. All right. Bye, Debbie. Dennis says, the keto chow beef soup base remains clean keto. Just about everyone would consider that clean keto. Except it mm -hmm. still does have artificial vitamins in it. It does have that methylated bees. B Ooh. <laughs> Tornado TJ says, I don't get to see all your live feeds. There you go. No added maltodextrin. So now everyone get over it. It's pure sucralose. Right. Hey, and it's okay. We're it's glad you're oh, here today. It, I am fine answering that question over and over again. Yep. Because it allows us to have a conversation and talk about, mm -hmm. it is a big concern for a lot of people. Yep. And the fact that, well, a lot of people don't even get to the point where they get to hear the explanation of you're confusing or conflating Splenda with sucralose, mm -hmm. number one. We're not using a lot of it, number two. Sucralose has been studied extensively, does not cause cancer, number three. Um, sucralose in the amounts that they were uh, th that is in keto chow does not ch cause changes to the gut biome. Mm -hmm. Four, in order to do that, you have to give someone the equivalent of several hundred servings of keto chow a day. Um, anyway, we actually have a, an FAQ page that if you if you Google sucralose keto chow, you will absolutely find it. And you can also Google with Bing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tornado says, ketogenic uh, is a body state, not a food. You are correct. Dennis says, I still prefer insulin suppressives to being called ketogenic. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Rosa says, oh yes, we need something cold and different because it's getting too um, hot, Pam? Oh, okay. I'm, oh, yeah. I mean, Pam says, yeah, it's root beer floats with root beer keto chow at our house. Uh, That's yeah. right. I love root beer floats. Today was actually really nice and cool. I went outside cool. and Finished up the installation mm -hmm. of on the the roof of our uh, trailer. trailer. I finished, finished, finished the installation of the solar panels and the little 
cell antenna thing. It's all done. Good job. I'm super, super happy. And it wasn't hot. It was just nice. But I got finished and I was troubleshooting the connection and I was sitting there on the sofa and I got really tired. <laughs> anyway. I'm really tired too. I think we should go to bed any minute. Well, speaking of that, Jujube says I'm strongly contemplating making the climb from, to my bed tonight. Not sure where my back can make it on the couch another night. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you're... Yeah, Turnout TJ says, really I challenge someone to, to eat that. 100 servings of keto chow in a day. Where's Adam Richmond? That, actually, the funny thing about that I'm is... I'm pretty sure um, that's not safe. The question also comes up, what's the glycemic index of keto okay. chow? Glycemic index is how... Like, if you give someone 50 grams of mm -hmm. glucose, what sort of blood sugar rise does that cause in that individual? Yep. And then if you give them the equivalent of 50 grams of glucose of a different food, what's the, the thing? What, what, what's their response? The yeah. problem is it would be unethical to test the glycemic load of keto chow because you would be giving someone, it's, I think it's like three kilograms of the keto chow powder in to order make to make it have a, a response. The equivalent of the 50 so, grams. There's a reason that. Yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> Shauna says it was 95 t uh, today. Yay for window air conditioner and fan oh, on high man. for a long nap. I still like saw, thought I was here. on the ship when I woke up. Um, Denise wants to know, did you do the flow rider? I did. I did the flow rider. Did you get up on your knees? I did not get okay. up on my knees, but I did it anyway. I, got, I did get to the point where I was holding myself up like this, but I just couldn't bring my knees up. And that's okay because I still did it. Shauna wants to know, I'm mean, sorry, Susan wants to know if we're going to be coming out with gingerbread soon. We released gingerbread last good? year I around again. the holidays. It's, mm -hmm. it's more of a fall flavor. I don't think it would be a good idea to release it at this time of year mm -hmm. with the changing of the seasons. Um, Carrie says we had a cold front with the rain today and some 100% rain tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, we had a question. Someone said that they had seen a comment or two about adding eggs oh, to keto yeah, chow. Yeah. Are they doing a whole raw egg? Are they doing egg white protein? Like, There's what are, multiple what are they doing? ways you could do it. You can use the egg white protein. Um, but whatever you do, you probably want to use a blender to mix it. I would agree. And then I would say if you're going to do it, I would drink it right away. So I'd mix it normally and then pop the egg in and mix it yeah. and then drink it if you're going to do that. I know Carrie Brown was doing two actual eggs yeah, as With no fat. fat. Yeah, with just yeah. that. So that she was really enjoying that at mm -hmm. some point. So so I, I guess the answer to the question is uh, yes. Yes, you can However do However you want to do it. You can add whole eggs. You can Try add it out. egg whites. Uh, why are people doing it? Probably because they're just trying to add more protein. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to do it. Yep. Well, and that, that actually brings up another question. Do you have to add a fat source to keto chow? Well, you don't have to add a fat source to keto chow. We do recommend at least 10 grams of fat so that you per can absorb the vitamins because they're fat soluble. Yep. So we, we prefer <laughs> that people do do that, but some people don't, and that's okay. And we I also I want to caution people that if the reason you're not adding fat to keto chow is because you're afraid of the amount of calories, mm -hmm. because you are in a mentality of fat calories are bad. Yes. Well, if you've, especially if you've just started a ketogenic diet, you probably aren't able to access the um, stored fat that you have because mm -hmm. your insulin is still too high. Yep. And you have to get energy from somewhere. Um, and it's probably going to be fat that you're eating rather than fat that is stored. And so I, I do want to caution people if they don't want to add keto, uh, keto chow, if they don't want to add fat to keto chow to make sure they're aware of what they're doing and they're doing mm -hmm. it for a very specific person. Purpose, person. Purpose. Purpose. For instance, maybe they want to do a protein sparing modified fast where they're only doing the 10 grams. Um, although, But I think you have to be fat adapted before you want to try PSMS. I, I would agree. And being fat adapted would be, first you're taking in fat and you're burning the fat that you're eating instead of glucose because you're not eating glucose anymore, right? And uh, until your body makes that switch over to start taking 
what's here instead of what's here, then that's when you can lower your fat a little bit. Then you could try PSMF also. Yep. But again, lots of caution if you're wanting to make keto chow without the fat. Make sure you know what you're doing. Yep. It's not the recommended way to do it. And if you're feeling hungry because you're, you're not putting very much fat in there and you're like, I'm taking these shakes and I'm starving to death, it's because you're not having anything that's going to satiate you because the yep. fat is going to be what's filling you up. That's exactly right. Um, Stuong likes to do two whole eggs in the Ninja oh, Creamy. Yes. There you go. That sounds awesome. Uh, Sandra says, how much of the egg white protein would you add? I don't know, a scoop? Uh, I think we tried a tablespoon before, mm. which was the equivalent of an egg. Yes, right? I think so. Yeah, I think that's what we did when we tried Or you it. could add two. It's really, huh, it, whatever, it's tea, yeah. try it, see if you like it. Add some more, mm -hmm. add less, uh, whatever you want to do. Add some nutmeg and then it'll be eggnog shake. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tornado says, well, that makes me wonder what would what could be done with the creamy with just two eggs instead of fat. And remember, yeah. mine are farm eggs. Never seen a fridge. Yes. Oh, there you go. I think that's a great idea. Do that. P please experiment with that and tell us what you found. Now, when we've made it with egg white protein mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. egg whites, I haven't really noticed a change in flavor. Yeah. Um, if you're using whole eggs, then I do taste the egg yolk. Mm -hmm. It's the yolk that I'm tasting. Yeah, so. and if you want to cover that up, add some cocoa powder. Make it fudgier chocolate. Yep. Uh, let's see, Sandra says, when you make ice cream in a blender with ice cubes in here right away, are the vitamins activated? Uh, you have to ha the, the thing that it's not activating mm -hmm. vitamins, in order to absorb fat-soluble vitamins, you have to have fat so that, yeah, that's in what we're talking your about. intestines At while you're digesting it. That's it. So if that you put statement ice in is it, true. And as long as you put a little bit of heavy cream or a little bit of butter mm -hmm. or a little bit of whatever. Or you make it normally. Or eggs or. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't need to, be, uh, keto chow doesn't need to be heated to make the vitamins absorbable. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you heat it up too much, it starts to degrade the yep. vitamins. That, the same is true for all food that you heat up. Well, and Sandra, you could be uh, talking about how we say to leave it for 30 minutes or overnight. That's yeah. just, it kind of helps the flavor meld better. together and mm -hmm. it tastes a little bit better. But you can definitely eat it right away. You can just take it, make it with ice, with your fat, with your keto chow, and just drink it right away. And it's still delicious. Looks like LaShawn is here. Hi. Uh, Kathleen says good evening all. Welcome back, Bears. Hi, Kathleen. Uh, let's see. Uh, LaShawn does one egg and four tablespoons of butter. There you that go. That sounds yummy. Tornado says, if you know, I, I'll let you know how the fresh eggs and the creamy come out. Yeah, tell us. I don't mind the yolk flavor. Wouldn't that make it more like a custard? I yes. Believe it, well, I think sure. with the custard, you have to cook the yolk. Oh, okay. But I could be wrong. Well, still probably. Um, Pam says, I added a quarter cup of egg white protein to my shakes for more protein. Nice. Perfect. Um, let's see. Um... What is, oh, now this, this is a, an interesting question. Okay. What is the shelf life of keto chow? So that has two answers. It does have two right. answers. The shelf life of a bag of keto chow. Unopened. Unopened is two years. From the date it was Manufactured. Yeah, we are working on getting that manufactured date um, extended. Well, the, the, for... the best by date. Extended out to a three year. Yes, and, and that testing is still happening and we'll let you know when we have more information about that. The other answer is uh, after you mix it, how long does it stay good in the fridge? And we say up to six days. Mm -hmm. Now once the bag is opened, mm -hmm. it also, I can't actually give you a good answer as far as what the shelf life is once it's opened, uh, but store in a cool dry place. Yep. We've now, never had a problem with any of our keto chow that's open, but also we live in a dry place. Yes. Now, here's the thing. As the, the a, a business that is selling keto chow, mm -hmm. we have certain regulations that we have to follow, and we, yep. have to, we have to establish a best by date, and we have to stick to that best by date. Now, we can, once we've gotten to that best by date, have the stuff tested to make sure that it's still good mm -hmm. and we can have it recertified but generally speaking right now it's two years and we're working on the three year yep. if you are an individual and you have purchased something whether it's a book that you want to sell on ebay yep. whether it's an a cell phone 
whether it's a remote control or a bag of baby formula because that's in the news right now. Oh my goodness. As a individual, you are perfectly free to do whatever you want with something once you have purchased it. Yep. It's the first sale doctrine. And it came up, it, it was big news a couple of years ago because people were buying textbooks and then selling them back to used bookstores. Mm -hmm. And a lot of um, publishers were like, you can't do that. You're, you're ruining our sales. And they're like, dude, once, you, once I've bought it, it's mine, and I can do anything I want with it. I love that I could do that in college because it was expensive to buy all those textbooks. And then it's yep. like, what do I need this color theory book for? I don't yep. know. <laughs> so if you as an individual have purchased Keto Chow and you want to give it away, or if someone even wants to give you money for it, that goes completely outside the purview of any regulatory body. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with us as Keto Chow because we sold it to the first person. That is where our involvement mm -hmm. ended. We um, would like people to buy from yes. us, but we understand that there's other places that... Yep. But anyway, just so that you're aware, it currently the stuff that's being manufactured is with a two-year shelf uh, best buy date. Mm -hmm. Um, and we are in the process of having that taken out to a three-year Best yep. Buy date. So Don't you it's love still my in socks? process. GGB says, I'm about to crack open my uh, chicken soup keto chow and food saver half for summer tomato sandwiches. Nice. And have some biscuits and such now once I can get back into my kitchen. Nice. Yeah, you got to rest and heal. Uh, Dennis says, the shelf life of mixed keto chow is best when stable fats are used. 10 grams of butter, ghee, coconut. And I, the, the, the main thing is, if you use anything but heavy cream, it generally lasts longer than mm -hmm. six days. Yep. And I think that's just because even the ultra-pasteurized heavy cream, mm -hmm. there's still a little bit... Of, bacteria likes to grow in that a lot. Mm -hmm. And it has nothing to do with the fat. Nope. It has everything to do with the protein and the little bit of carbohydrates that are in the heavy cream. Yep. So, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, just leave a protein shake outside in a car. Or don't. Because it will go bad real fast. <laughs> anyway, yeah. regardless of whether it has fat in it or heavy cream or not. Yeah, um, treat it like milk. Keep it in the fridge. Yep. And Dennis says, I like adding heavy whipping cream as an option at the last minute before consuming. Oh, that's a that good would idea. allow it to... Uh, It'll last a lot longer. Yep. LaShawn says, I know by law, Chris, you can't recommend keto chow for babies, but would you give your baby keto chow oh, if there was no baby. baby formula available? No. No, I would not. Absolutely, under no circumstances would I give it to an infant. Because they don't need that many vitamins. No, they do not. Um, I have personally given it to my own children who were as young as like four years old. But not the whole serving. No, I took a cup we give of them keto a chow, taste of it. a little plastic cup, and, and now, I poured keto chow into there. And I said, "If you want some more, you can ask for it." And yep. they drank that one cup, and then yep. they were actually fine. Yeah, and now our children are pretty much adult size, and so if they want to drink a whole one, they do all, yep. all, all the time. Sam never does. But the but nutritional requirements for an infant, an adult are not the same. Yeah. And even compared to a child. But yeah, I absolutely make no mm -hmm. mistake would not give keto chow to an infant. Period. It's too many vitamins. I just wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. um, would a mother who is nursing benefit from having keto chow or would it be safe for her? Legally, the answer I have to give you is that it's not indicated for use by infants, nursing, or pregnant mothers. Please consult your physician. I do know a lot of women who are nursing or pregnant that have talked to their pediatrician and or mm -hmm. um, primary care physician or, dang, what's the other one? The mama obstetrician? doctor. Obstetrician? Yes, obstetrician. The mama doctor. The mama doctor. And they're... they're Mama doctor has said, oh yeah, this stuff is great. You go right ahead and use that. But um, I will not tell you uh, uh, to use that. Absolutely not. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Gina says, I've been seeing the Kyocha Red Riding Hood commercial a lot lately. I always enjoy watching the entire oh, ad. 
Yay. Share it with your friends. Thank you. Uh, he says, speaking of socks, did y'all see mine on the cruise? I didn't actually not pay attention yeah. to your socks You didn't at even all. hear what I said about my socks. Yeah. I said I like these socks. Yeah. Because they say, books turn muggles into wizards. <laughs> okay. GGB says, Miriam, I'm resting yesterday and today I planned my dream garden for Florida. Ah. Moving soon. It probably won't be Florida, but a girl can dream. Yes. Um, let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Yarns about Cindy says, please explain your Memorial Day specials. I'm confused on when I will get my credit and when I can yeah, let's pull use that it. Up. So I'm going to go right to the homepage. Da, da, da. Here we go. It's a Memorial Day offer. Boink, boink. So if you have, if you're a new customer, you'd be able to get 48% off the essentials and you'll get a $10 store credit. Yes. If you're an existing customer who has a My Chow subscription. Or who would like to get a My Chow subscription. Yep, then you will be able to get a $25 store credit. And you see this link that says see terms and conditions. Click on that. Clicky click click. Okay. So here's the, and I actually think it has it on that previous That's a one. lot of words. That's okay. why. The reason why it's a lot of words is we actually spent several meetings making sure we got this figured exactly out. figured out. And it says it um, right there. Will be delivered July 1st via Kiyocha's Rewards yes. Program. So we will take the names that are between those dates, put them into a file, and then on July 1st, we'll take that file and populate all of the yep. credits into everyone's accounts. And if you pause your subscription or cancel before July 1st, you'll either not receive the $25 store credit or you will have the credit deducted from your rewards account. Okay. So anyway, it, it is on the terms and conditions. And, and yeah, not, it's a lot of words. We're not trying to force people to have... Well, no. I chow. We are just trying to say thank you because we feel like it's been really great that you've been so supportive getting my chow. It's been a lot of work to get that put together to try to have it be something that you guys would like. And we appreciate people who have filled out the survey also mm -hmm. uh, because that's been really helpful to get the knowledge. Then we can turn around and improve my chow. Yep. Because we really enjoy having that be like a, like the deepest discount and something that you can rely on. We want to be reliable and helpful, and it's just something that we really like. So we just want to say thank you and give you a little bit of yeah kickback. That's what we Esperanza want. Esperanza Rubio Madden. Torres says, okay. I got my Ellie box today. Mix them up as soon as I got home. Ready to start my yes. day off right tomorrow. What Happy day, day off. It's Grilling Wednesday tomorrow. Make sure you grill something, too. I want grilling um, Wednesday. Yeah, Jerry is crashing. Still a little jet lag. I am going to crash, too. Let's go. Okay, well, we have one more question. All right. Is there a date set for Keto Salt Lake 2023? Do you know the answer? I do know the answer. What is it? We don't have a date set yet. We have a date set. Oh, do we? We don't have a venue. Now, the problem is, did that date set that you had set account for uh, spring... Um, break for our kids? Yep. Oh. Are you sure? Yep. Are you sure, Jen? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? It is April 21st and 22nd. Oh. Okay. Of 2023? Yep. We just need a venue. So it's subject to change. We don't have the tickets up for sale. Uh, Dr. Bowes, I think, is going to come. Nurse Cindy's going to come. I know Debbie okay. Potts said she wanted to talk, and I'm, I can ask her. Because I'm sure she wants to do it. Uh, who else? Um, Adam Nelly said he's going to come. Okay. Dave Feldman will probably come. You know, a bunch of people. There you go. Ken Barry always comes. Yeah, he's that's great. true. LaShawn says, uh, when is baby. banana coming back? Uh, I, I don't have an oh, estimated no, date. Oh, no, I know. We're sorry. We're out of banana. Tornado says, wait, I had to move my next shipment to September. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I'm out? So there's a specific oh. date. Um, I believe it's between the, like the 23rd. It's on the terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. If you had a MyChow order between this day yep. or... So if you just got it, it probably still counts. You might actually so still So depending count. on when you got, got it most recently, just pull up that terms and conditions and look at those dates. 
Yes. And I know that's confusing and it, it would be easier if we didn't have the dates, but we just wanted to make sure that people that already had My Chow subscriptions were able to get the deal. It wasn't just for new yep. people. So that's why we did it and we had to select that date criteria. Well, and we had to, yeah, we had to choose a cutoff date. Mm -hmm. And so, and so yeah. I, I'm sorry if, if you end up being outside of the cutoff date. We're just trying to do the best we can with what we've got. Song says, can you get both Memorial Day deals if you haven't bought Essentials Kit yet? I believe the first one only will, in, on the terms and conditions. I don't know if you can get both, actually. Bum, bum, bum. You might could if you haven't bought the Essentials yet. Only first-time Keto Chow purchasers are eligible for this offer. Oh, okay. If you've ever purchased from us before... Then probably not. Then you are not eligible for the offer. Sorry. So, there you go. Sorry. Um, ba, ba, ba. he says you're welcome. Well, that'd be cool if you could get both, huh? Shane Shin says that I mean I need to get my ch my get my chow in May and June, or can my May sub be moved to July next time? You just have to fit it within mm -hmm. the dates on the terms and conditions. Yep. Lisa says I'll grill chicken thighs tomorrow. Oh, that sounds good. Esperanza says she's sure. Sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, LaShawn says I'm on my way back to Arizona from Boston. Oh, wow. Son graduated his, with his master's degree. Congratulations, son. Uh, Marie says, so I, I suck at checking email regularly. Would you consider sending the post-purchase survey via text? I don't know that we have a post-purchase survey. The closest uh, thing that we have is a request to do a review. No, we had a survey that went out just barely. Did we? Mm -hmm, when we were gone last week. Oh, Okay, so I so, guess there you go. It's it. It's I think it's in there. But you know, we could probably put a link to it on the site that you could find. That might be a good idea. Let me write that down. Okay. Sean wants to know if uh, Fred Hahn's coming to Keto Salt Lake. Ah, uh, mm. I'm sure we could ask him. Lenny says, met if him. every two months does it count? Uh, you just check your uh, recurrence date. And if you have questions, we have a phone number at the bottom yep. of our website with real live human beings. And if you're having a problem, like you can't get the <laughs> MyChow to click the thing you want to click on, yep. please reach out to us in customer service. There's a little tiny uh, a circle down, where is it, down there? Oh, our head's covering it up. Underneath my face it's that you can there. click on and it'll ha and then you can message us and yep. customer service, Pops our team. up. Our like team that. is amazing. Look at those cute people. They will answer any questions you have and walk you through anything you can't figure out. So, yep. and let us know if there's problems and then there may be a problem that you can't do it because it's not working correctly. So we will work on fixing that too. So, thank you. <laughs> Debbie says, hi bears. Hi Debbie. Cool kid Kyo says, I've been on beef butter bacon and eggs so long. I can't remember when I last ate chicken. And turning out, he says, he says, live human beings in this day and age? Yes. Yes. And they answer the phone. The, the, the hilarious thing is we'll get calls from people and they'll be like, they're, they're just, they're taken back. They're like, like, what? Hello? Oh. Is this a real person? Wow. You, real people. Yep. Now, GGB says Lynette's the best ever. Lynette she is, is a, no she is longer part ever. of our customer service. I she know. Is She's now, now moved doing, to the marketing team. It's true. Uh, Sean says, best life human beings on customer service. There you go. All right. Well, we want everybody to be able to go to bed. So we're actually yeah, going we're to gonna go call to bed. it for the night. Good Thank night. you, everybody, for joining us. Um, we'll be doing our our live stream tomorrow morning as well. Yep. And I'm going to remember to change the... the bit rate? Well, I changed the bit rate already, but the resolution. Okay. Anyway, you all have a fantastic night, and we will catch you tomorrow. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs>